JC Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, and we're stalking Samugi, because that's what we do. We're creepy, creepy stalkers. So she's in the basement! I figured I'd open the map while I was loading the game and starting my thing, so. Hmm. Huh. It's back to normal. Did Monokuma clean everything up? Uh, Karumi probably did. <laughs> oh yeah, the book's on the top. Uh, for some reason, my stomach feels heavy. I guess eating tripe hot pot for breakfast was a bad idea. Or tri is it is it tripe? It just sounds gross. Should I hang out with Samuki? Yes. But Tanko seemed okay. I guess she's the type to eat stuff like ramen in the morning anyway. I spent some time taking care of Samuki, who didn't look so good. That's unpleasant. But... Samuki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Hell yeah! Alright, let's see. We don't have... We don't have nine... We don't have twelve... This is nineteen, right? No, this is nineteen. We don't have nineteen. Uh, we don't have twenty-seven. We already gave her that one. The next one is in, uh, forty-three. We don't have... Nope. 50 we don't have, 51 we don't have, 52 we don't have, 53 we already gave her, we don't have 56, uh, I gotta find the right one, 69 we don't have, 70 and 75, who goddamn wants an umbrella? No, we don't have 75 or 77. Well, we have 85, so that's good. We can give her our weather cock. <laughs> we don't have 99. Oh! She would have liked the student ID, and we gave it to... Damn it! Damn it. Damn it. Uh, no. What's the other one? Okay, so the only other thing we have to give her is our weathercock. I guess we're gonna have to do it, and then afterward, we're gonna have to go... Get some more stuff. I mean, there are good items, but I prefer to get her favorites, so anyway. Oh, this is nice! You've got good taste, Suichi! If you're offering it to me, I'll gladly accept it. I'm really happy now. All right. Like I promised, today is the Cosplay is Fun episode. Samugi seems pretty energized. I wonder what she has in store for me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gave her our weathercock. And now she's energized and we're wondering what she has in store for us. I'm sorry. Does anyone else find that as amusing as I do? Oh, God. Oh, I'm so wrong. There's so many inappropriate things. First, I'll tell you words of wisdom for my cosplay friends. Right? You make the size of your eyes up. Huh? What? Um, makeup. Makeup's pretty much like drawing a picture on your face. You can make someone look like a completely different person with makeup. Uh, uh, I see. With makeup, some guys can cosplay so well, it makes me feel like I've lost as a woman. Huh? They crossplay? You're right. They're so cute, I don't even think twice seeing them in the women's restroom. Wait. But but they shouldn't be in there in the first place, right? Hey, hey, Suichi. Let's not do the North Carolina shit and do the bathroom ban thing, okay? Let people be themselves, Suichi. Don't be judgy. Yeah. Cons can get super chaotic. Hot guys coming out of the women's restroom and vice versa? I can imagine it gets pretty chaotic. I mean, besides, that's what stall doors are for. And, you know, in most places, aside from the U.S., stall doors don't have a 14-foot gap all around the door so everyone can peep on you while you pee. Because, you know, so most places, the stalls are actually private, and it wouldn't really fucking matter, would it? That reminds me. Maybe we should fix the bathroom fucking doors and stalls, and then it wouldn't really goddamn matter who was in the bathroom. Wouldn't fucking matter if people just want to pee. Then poop. Whatever. Everybody poops. Except for me, because I'm a girl and we don't. Just fart rainbows and shit. <laughs> Sorry. 
Oh, God. Anyway. Oh, and I should show you pictures of cosplayers reenacting scenes. Uh, um... They reenact scenes? What do you mean? I'm sorry, but I find this interesting. It's when people cosplaying characters from the same work get together. And they try to reenact famous scenes from their work. You're right. Uh, but 2D poses aren't the same as 3D, of course. In order to re reproduce them, sometimes you need super weird setups. Uh... Like step stools, people holding you up, or especially unladylike poses. I shouldn't ask. Uh... Well, that about covers it. But I've been talking the whole time. Is there something you want to hear about? Uh... Okay. Being on location must be fun. Yeah. Yeah, going on location makes you feel like you really are that character. And it's actually pretty fun trying to find good locations for photo shoots. I just feel it'd be really offensive. It must be hard to keep your figure. Kind of a douche man shit is that to say? Like, better watch out. Keep that girlish figure of yours, honey. Fucking America, hold my good. The beer. What the fuck? Douche. Douchey thing to say. Anyway. Um, and it's actually pretty fun trying to find good locations for photo shoots. <laughs> like where you find a place that's just perfect. A sacred place for cosplay. Uh... Oh, but of course you need to make sure it's okay to take pictures there. Hey. Which location was the most fun for you? Uh... Well, wouldn't say fun, but the one that left the biggest impression is... An event at a theme park where I was cosplaying a character from a kid's show? All the kids... There kept yelling, do your special move! <laughs> the other cosplayers and I tried to do the poses, but the kids didn't like them. So I ended up practicing them a bunch. It turned out a good learning experience. Samogi is having so much fun explaining all this, I'm having fun too. Yeah! Ugh, we're gonna nail her so hard. What? I mean, yay, we're making friends! <laughs> I listened to Samogi's fond memories of cosplaying, then returned to my room. Yay, we get to do free time again! Hmm. There's still some time left. I can't sit around and do nothing. Doors. I want to go find what's the and be like, hey, so can I have that fucking student ID card back? I needed to impress the movie. Could you, could I, could you just, like, dude, just, no, no, fucker, give it back to me. Um, I'm, the reason why I'm wandering is because I'm going to go and get us some shit. Oh, we should actually have, oh, well, we got, we got a lot of mono coins, it's fine. I know I could get more, but whatever. We're gonna go to the mana mana machine. We're gonna we gotta get some cheap shit. But I already have a scarf. Metronome. I'm just putting random amounts of coins in there. A perfect laser gun. Okay. Yay! Give me something good, like a student ID card or something. Photoshop software, I don't know what that's good for. I'm putting random numbers in there, I don't know. Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail, it looks like a douche. <laughs> Candy cigarette. I have no idea what we're getting, I really don't. A uh, hammock. A sketchbook. A sports towel. Somebody who does sports, maybe. Olive oil. Okay. Latest machine parts catalog. I'm sorry, but Soda's not here. He's in the other game, and I'm pretty sure he died. Robot oil. Oh, I bet that's good for what's-his-face. Gold origami. Literally just like randomly scrolling. Commemorative metal set. Why do we keep getting that? Give me something that I want. Uh, but I already have that and I don't need it. Yay! I give her selling it again! Uh, 
That looks creepy. Could use a lot. <laughs> I'm just randomly doing it. A sparkly sheet! Oh my god. Oh good, we can see! What did we get? So, I'm gonna see if we got anything good. We've got four of these! Nobody wants this. We didn't get nine. We still didn't get number 19. Um... Still get number 12. Uh, 27. We still only get 27. Um, well, we got number 53 again, but let's see. We didn't get 50 or 51. And what was the other one? Um, oh, 43. <gasps> no, we don't have that. Um, we got nothing that we can give to her. Like, I'm serious. This is really bad. Guys, this is bad. This is bad. All this shit and, like... I mean, we got the selling kit. We didn't get 56. Okay, let's see. 69. No, we're still missing 69. Seventy-five and seventy-seven. We got the shit fucking around it. Douchebag. No, we don't have our weathercock anymore. We don't have ninety-one. We still don't have ninety-nine. We didn't get number one hundred four again. We still don't have number 6, and 130 is... No, that's 112. Well, 112 is good, so that's not bad. Ugh. Oh my god. I'm just gonna use up all my fucking monocoins. Like, fuck this shit. A beret! I don't need the fucking beret! Give me shit that I don't have! Give me shit I don't have, you motherfucker! A wearable blanket. Nobody wants a wearable blanket. <laughs> I know, I'm like using all my coins. I don't even care. Sugar. I mean, that's what they're there for. Workout clothes. That's great for somebody who likes to work out, not for some people. Give me the student ID card. Pocket tissues. Oh my god. Jelly balls. We're not even getting anything that's good for her. Like, oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. You can't give me anything that I don't already have. I, there's just shit I need for her, and I'm not even... We're just going to use all of them. Nothing. We got nothing in there that's going to work for her. Nothing. Nothing. Yes, I want to leave. Fuck you, Mono Mono Machine! You're a dick weasel! I mean, we have stuff that's probably good, so I'm sure it's fine. I don't think it really makes a difference. I just want to give her her favorites. Let's see, anything... What's actually new? Number 20, which was not something on her list. Whoa, I'm looking at the wrong... Whoa, 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 whoa. 20 was not on her list. What's this one? Number 16, not on her list. I know number 23 wouldn't be on her list. What else is new? 29, not on the list. Um, well, let's see. No. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm just looking at those might be on the... Number 60 was... Huh. No, um... Oh, wait, let's see. No, 62 and 63 are not... They're not even in the good list. 64 is... It's in the good. It's not in her favorites, but it's in good. 
So that'll work. So, okay, so we have... The sword and the sketchbook are good. And then, what was it? The, um... We got a sewing kit. The sewing kit again. So we can give her the sewing kit again. I wonder if they're going to get mad if you give them the same gift twice, though. I meant to actually keep that open so I could... No, I, actually, this is what I wanted. Like, uh, I want to actually see something, though. Let's see. Does it say... You've collected... Items are never to make it easier. Finding out some of their likes and dislikes seems really good, but that's over. Okay, it doesn't say anything about not giving them the same thing twice. You know what's really stupid? They give you a list of things that Kaede likes. Well, you're you were her, so why would you have items for her? Well, that's what, see, and that's the thing. It specifically says in here most of them are good. Like, we've collected short to blah, 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 blah. Um, in addition to favorite and good items, the others will mostly just be okay with a handful being hated. Just stick to the best ones we list and things will be fine. Items are numbered to make it easier. Also, some items say hold on to them in the description as they open up special scenes. So don't get rid of all your stock of those if there's something you've not seen. Oh, Whoops. I didn't... I haven't been checking that. But anyway, it doesn't say anything about giving duplicates, so we'll give her the sewing kit. Let's see. Um... Okay, hold on. Oop. Let's go here. She's around the outside. Do, do, do. She was, I believe, this way. Right? I think she was this way. We'll run. Smoogie! Wait for me, girl! Girl, wait for me. Girl, girl, girl. Wait for me. Girl. Well, it said she was outside. No, she's not. Okay, she's not. Well, wait, but it also shows no dots. But it showed that she was outside. It showed that she was outside the school. Where's my waifu? Wait, where is she? She's not here. I hate it when it doesn't, like, accurately tell you what people are. Is she... Oh, maybe she's... Oh, I bet she's in the pool. We gonna run. We need the exercise. I bet she in the pool. She in a club. There she is! Girl, you ain't in a beta suit. Uh, Konda has my video. I know I should be worried. I shouldn't be worried about it, but I can't get it out of my head. Should I hang out with Samugi for a while? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe talking to you will help me forget about it. Thanks for worrying about me. We secretly love you because Kaede's gone, so we gotta move on to somebody else. And you would probably beat us. So I'm not sure I can handle her. We gotta have the nice girl first before we go to the abusive dominatrix. Smoogie and I shared another random conversation. Smoogie and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, and I'm going to give her the sewing kit again and hope she doesn't get mad because I already gave it to her. Crossing fingers. What? What? I can have this? Really? I mean, no one else here can even appre appreciate this like I can. Um. Hey, Samugi, why did you first start making cosplay? What? What? That's where you jumped to? Uh, um, uh, if you'd rather not say, you don't have to. No. It's not that I don't want to say, it's just a little embarrassing. Samugi blushed and brought her fist to her chin, thinking. Uh, where to start? From a young age, I loved clothes that were cool or cute. Anime was full of clothes like that, so every weekend, I'd be glued to the TV. Um, one day, I eventually learned of a thing called cosplay. 
As soon as I did, I went and secretly made my favorite character's outfit. Huh? That's amazing. You made it from scratch? No. No, it was too hard to make from scratch, so I modified an existing outfit. But even though I made it, I didn't have the courage to wear it to a con. But, but even so, I wanted someone to see it. Do you understand that feeling? Okay. I think I do. You worked really hard. Right, right? Right, right? Humans are just lumps of desire that need acknowledgement. And so I dared to put it up on the internet. What should we do? The thinking back on it now, showing an outfit like that is so embarrassing. Smoogie is squirming. I understand how she feels. But that fandom was full of nice people, so they didn't make fun of me. Actually, a certain cosplayer said it was good for my first time. That compliment was enough for me, but... Um... Then they say they wanted to wear it, and that we should... Oh, then they said they wanted to wear it, and that we should go to a con together. To my surprise, they were a really famous cosplayer in that fandom. Hmm. Is that right? Well, did you go? Yeah. Of course! It was more fun than I even imagined! I couldn't believe it! Samugi's eyes are sparkling. It must have been a lot of fun. Uh... Looking back, that cosplayer just wanted to drag others into the cosplay swamp... And I was dragged in quite easily. But still, I'm thankful. Hmm. And that was the start of your ultimate talent, right? You're right. Yeah. If I hadn't been invited to that con, I wouldn't be the person I am now. I'm still friends with that cosplayer. I wanted to make more outfits for them. Uh... Oh. What kind of a tone have I been setting? I'm so embarrassed. I made you listen to that plain, boring story. It's okay, I asked. That's a good story. I'd love no. to hear I'd love to hear more about it. These stories are fascinating. Uh, huh? Hmm. W what? Did I say something wrong? What is this? I've never heard that line outside of a girl's manga or dating sims. Her eyes are getting sparkly again. It's plain to see. If you were a dating sim, you wouldn't be the most popular, but you'd have fans. Is that a compliment? I have no idea. So movie's report card has been updated. Oh, that's true! We gotta look at her report card with our girlfriend. Bye, girlfriend! Samugi told me a few more cosplay stories, and I returned to my room. Ding dong, bing bong. Bing bong, ding dong. It is now nighttime. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. So... The late night special at the exclusive monocup kitchen inside the dining hall is... I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. Oh my god. With grease and oil, does a body good? Spicy kimchi, chicken, and rice bowl. Ingredients, one wheelbarrow of fried chicken, one cluster of eggs, one pile of spicy kimchi, one handful of mayonnaise. Hold on, how do you... Oh, shit, I don't have to turn the thing off. It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. It's a bunch of, something about a bunch of rice. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. I actually don't know how to toggle the thing off. Ooh, I don't want to do it by accident. By the way, this here is for monocubs only. We ain't sharing any with yous. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? So long, farewell. I wouldn't eat that greasy food even if they threatened to kill me. But anyway, nighttime already, huh? When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Kayede? I ask myself questions like that. Move on! We're moving on! <laughs> because no matter how I think about it, what happened to her is my fault. Hmm. Huh. Someone here? Doorbell's ringing. Yo! Hey, come out with me. A, come hang out with me a sec. Huh? Huh? Now? But it's nighttime. Come on. There's man. no rule about walking around at nighttime, right? Oh god, is he gonna kill us? Huh. Are you gonna fucking kill us and we have to be you then? And then we're gonna be, and then we'll be at the class trial trying to defend ourselves already knowing that we're the killer. And then we're gonna be somebody, we're just gonna be different characters. Every character we're gonna be is gonna die. I don't know what this game's gonna throw me for, I don't know. I'll be waiting in the courtyard. Wait! Uh, w wait! 
but Kaido wasn't listening. He turned and quickly walked away. Hmm. The courtyard at this time of night? What does he want? Could it be about the motive video I have? But how does he know? Wait, should I even go at all? Something might happen. Yeah! I mean, we're gonna have to go. I don't think we have a choice. Great, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, creepy McCreeperson. FYI, Kyo. Hey, Kyo. Oh, are you going out, Suichi? Okay. Uh, yeah, Kaido asked me to come meet him. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, I saw him near the Wisterias. So it was you he was waiting for. Mm, but having a secret meeting at a time such as this, do you intend to exchange motives? No. I don't know. Maybe. He just asked me to meet him. I don't know why. <laughs> I was merely joking. However... However... It would be understandable for one to come to that conclusion. Please keep that in mind. Well... Well, since I have witnessed you here, I suggest you avoid taking any foolish actions. He's gonna fucking die. Kaido's gonna fucking die, and they're gonna blame me. They always blame me! In any event, good night. Now I'm even more worried. Something could happen to me. But that's why we told Kyo where we were going. We were like, Kyo! We are going to meet Kaito. Now let's go talk to Crazy Girl. Crazy Girl, we're going to meet Kaito in case he kills me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Oh, it's you, Suichi. Hmm. What are you doing up at this hour? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, just thinking. Hmm. But it's pretty late now. Mm. I think I'll sleep well tonight. I knew it. I knew it'd be like this. I would have had her undo my brainwashing. Oh, if I knew it'd be like this. I would have had her undo my brainwashing a long time ago. Huh? You're brainwashing? Hmm. Well, good night. What was that about? She looked happier than usual. I wonder what happened. There's two other people down here. There's somebody else. Oh, Angie. I was like, there's two yellow dots, and I saw Kaido over there. Huh? Huh? Suiji? Where are you off to at this hour? Uh, oh, um. well, I have something to do. What are you doing? I... Oh, I was just praying to a Tua, and... <laughs> just be excited for tomorrow! Huh? Tomorrow? Bye, Yonara! Good night, Suiji! See you tomorrow! Tomorrow? Is she planning something? She sounds suspicious. I just told three people! I I told one person, but I should have told the other two people. FYI, I'm going to meet Kaido, so if I end up dead, he fucking did it. Hey, Beth, FYI, I'm meeting Kaido. Right there. Him. I'm Yeah, if he kills me, he did it. If I die, he did it. If he dies, I didn't do it. Though, I, I didn't. Because that would be crazy. Oh, good, you came. Uh, um... What's wrong, Kaido? Why did you call me out here all of a sudden? I mean... See, since I was chosen as an astronaut trainee, I've trained every day, but... I haven't done any training here at all. At this rate, I'll get all week, so... Got it. Join me, Suichi. Huh? What? Why me? All right! Doesn't matter. Let's get started. Take off your coat. Wait! Wait, why? Shut up! Instead of complaining, just do 50 push-ups! I don't know how it happened, but before I knew it... Aw, cute. I was doing push-ups with Kaido in the courtyard in the middle of the night. Look, he wears a white button-up shirt. Lovely. Why do I oh, he's good. have he's... to do this? I just thought he was going to pan. I didn't really... <laughs> Now's not the time to use your head. Now's the time to move your body. <laughs> What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. My arms are giving out. Hey, we get stick don't arms. say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Like, he picked the twig. What the... That logic makes no sense. Uh, 
Somehow I managed 50 push-ups, but my body was spent. I collapsed on the grass, panting. Jeez. Jeez, that's pathetic, man. Getting tired from only 50 push-ups? Got it. Well, that's enough for now. We'll pick back up tomorrow. Huh? We're doing this again tomorrow? Huh? Huh? Well, yeah. You gotta do daily training every day, right? But... But why do I gotta do this, Kaido? I mean... Because this training's for you. Huh? For me? <laughs> when I look at you, I can't help but get frustrated. I ask myself, is the one Kaede entrusted her wish to really this weak? Ouch. I mean... You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Kaede died because you made the wrong deduction? Do you think you killed her? Uh, okay. Yes, I do, Kaido. Because of my detective work, she set up that- Dumbass. What are you saying? That was all her fault. Listen up. Her sins and her regrets are hers alone. You'll only make her worry about you if you try to bear all those by yourself. I... No. I know that. I already know that. You don't have to tell me. But I can't help it, Kaido. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I could have done. It's no use. I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and the sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. All right. All right, I got, I got it. So that's your enemy, huh? Huh? Enemy? I mean... Well, you gotta deal with your worries yourself. I can't give you an answer... Oh, I can't give you an answer for those, but... But you know... At least you know you're weak. As long as you can admit that... Let's do it. Then you'll be okay. You just gotta train and get stronger. Huh? Huh? Listen up. Listen up. Training is the only way to overcome your weakness. But... Uh, but in my case, getting stronger is more of a mental concept. Don't worry about it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? He's not making any sense! It's because we're dying slowly from push-ups. But maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Uh, okay. All right, Kaido. I'll try. No. Uh, I mean, will you let me? I want to train with you, Kaido. To get closer to defeating my enemy. Well said. Well said, bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Bro, huh? This is the first time he's called me that. But... But, uh, perhaps you should be training too, Kaido. You talk big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? Jeez. Jeez, you even noticed that. I guess you are the ultimate detective after but all. No. know. But you know the goal was just 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a few short. Well, that's not fair at all. And thus, Kaido and I began our training regimen. I don't really know why Kaido is so concerned about me, but I suppose I can trust someone again, just this time. I decided to trust Kaido. He's fucking gonna die or kill someone. I decided to trust Kaido and his craziness. No, he's our new best friend. He's gonna die? Hmm. Ugh, I'm so tired. We'll play through the... I worked out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted. But it's a good kind of exhausted. Hmm. Alright, for now, sleep. I didn't have any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I fell into a deep, relaxing sleep. We're going to watch the Monokuma video, and then we'll end this part. So, At the time, I didn't yet realize just how horrific it could be to trust someone in this place. Oh god, Kaido's dead. Kaido's dead or he killed someone. What are you looking at? Who are you guys? Jaws. You're probably thinking, this killing game is taking forever. Someone just die already. That is what you're thinking, right? Man, you guys are messed up. But I feel the same way too. Jeez, why won't someone just die? Watching people live and die is really the best entertainment. Some people say, what do you think life is? Honestly, life is worthless. When you die, you're, quick to, you're quickly forgotten because there's tons of replacements out there. But if you die in a death game, everyone knows who you are. That itself is a form of happiness. <laughs> who will find happiness next? My heart's pounding with excitement. Fuck. Someone's dead. Anyway, um... 
Hi. Hey. They sound sad. Forlorn. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. And when we come back in the next part, we'll find out who died. So, yeah. I will see you guys. I don't know if somebody actually died. I'm just assuming. I'll see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more. Right now.